Hey guys, Dave here back again with another video and today we will be covering Horizon, a new racing game on Roblox. So this game is like maybe two months old at most and it's got a lot of potential considering how new the game is. So we're just going to be covering this game's map, the cars in the game and just some overall features in the game and yeah, I hope that you're going to be enjoying this video. And by the way, if my audio sounds kind of weird, it's because I just got a new mic recently, so I'm still working on getting the settings right. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna be checking out the dealership. The dealership itself visually isn't anything too impressive. You've got a few cars on display right at the entrance, but nothing really in the background. So let's just go straight into the dealership UI. So cars are divided in these four classes and let's start off with classic slash standard cars. So you have the Chevy Cobalt SS, this is the beginner car in the game. Then you have a Honda Integra Type R, a Chevy Impala, this thing is actually a lowrider which is kind of cool, a Mazda RX-7, a Nissan S15, and an R33 Skyline. For sports cars, you have a Nissan 370Z, a Chevy Camaro SS, a Ford Mustang GT with super high quality suspension, a C7 Stingray, a Shelby GT350 which is pretty damn cool, a Hellcat which is also pretty nice, and a C601, I know that this thing is pretty OP. Oh, and yeah, then there is the R35 GTR, of course there is. Then for supercars, you have a Lamborghini Huracan, a Lamborghini Aventador, a Ferrari 812 Superfast, a McLaren 600 LT, a Ferrari 488 GTB, a Porsche GT3 RS which is very nice, an Audi R8, a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ which I love, and a Ferrari F8 Tributo, I don't really love this thing. Then for hypercars, you have For hypercars, you have a Lamborghini Sesto Elemento, a Hennessy Venom GT, a Porsche 918 Spider, a Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport, a Koenigsegg Aguera, I'm pretty sure that this is the best car in the game, a Lamborghini Venino, a Ferrari FXXK Evo, which is really cool, a McLaren Senna, and a Lamborghini Centenario. The car list overall isn't the longest, but it sure is a good car list. Then, when it comes to the driving, let's take out the Lamborghini Huracan. So, the sounds are okay, they can sound pretty bad if you have bad internet like I usually do. And the driving physics overall aren't bad, they're not the greatest, but they're also absolutely not horrible. Now, if you have super high power cars, they're gonna be really hard to control with this game's chassis. Customization wise, this game is kind of weak. You only have performance and visual, which is fine. Performance wise, you only have engine and turbo upgrades, and that's it. So, for engine upgrades, some cars have three levels, others have four levels, and you can get double upgrades, which means that you can get, for example, a level four upgrade twice. Then you also have turbo upgrades, once again, some cars have 3 levels, others like this Huracan have 4, and you can get stacked upgrades, so you can get a level 4 turbo twice. When it comes to visual upgrades, this game is pretty weak. You can only change your car's primary color, and that's it. You can change the shininess of that color, and some cars like this Huracan and the GTR have a wide body kit. That's all you have visual upgrade wise and it's kind of bad in my opinion but it's still not the worst considering how new this game is. So now in my garage you can see that there's two cars which I did not bring up in the dealership. One of them is the Supra. So you might be wondering how do you get these cars? Well you get them through barn finds. That's right this game has barn finds the same kind as Forza Horizon 4 or just any Forza Horizon game. Of course, they're not as great because this is a Roblox game that's very early access, but it's still cool that it has a feature that's only in Forza games. The barn finds themselves are very easy to find. For example, this Supra is just behind a bunch of these trees. You go right in and you'll hold F to open the barn and that's pretty much it. 
the other button to find is also pretty easy to find and it's a small map so it's really not too hard to find them and between these dunes you will see a little abandoned barn with the Nissan 240Z you just walk up to it hold discover and you get a cool little animation there's only two cars so far because the map is kind of small as I said and I hope that you're gonna get some more barn finds with future updates but this is all that we have for now. Right now I am at this game's highway and the highway is pretty damn bad. It's got a lot of turns and no long straights so it's very hard to reach your car's top speed on it. Here's one of the corners and cars with a lot of horsepower like the Supra are pretty damn hard to control on the highway. So the best place for grinding is just the same road you spawn at. This road is very long, longer than the highway probably, and it's very straight. Now in servers with a lot of people, there's probably gonna be a bunch of players driving on this road trying to make money. So chances are that you're gonna be crashing a lot, which is why I like emptier servers. First of all, there's less people and they don't like people. And second of all, easier grinding as I said. Now if we continue to the end of this road, you will see a little tunnel. This tunnel leads to a cool little canyon road. It's nothing too insane, but it's a kind of cool location to just cruise on. And if we take this right, it's gonna lead to a little parking lot at the top of this road. This road's kind of long, so it's also fun to drive on. And the Supra is very hard to control. If we just go left here, I'm gonna crash. But yeah, this is the little parking lot, nothing too extreme. It's just a cool little place to, I don't know, chill out with your buddies or have a car meet or something. I don't know, people will find a use for it. Now, this game has a drag strip. It's only like a quarter mile long and it's nothing too special. You can't earn money from doing drag races in the game. But it's a kind of cool location to do drag races, obviously. So the drag strip is very easy to find. You shouldn't have any issues with it unless you're a dum-dum. And yeah, this is the start of the drag strip. As you can see, you can only start the countdown manually. There's no kind of proper races. You just use this little countdown. And yeah, as I said, it's only a quarter mile long. Uh, most people are gonna be using C6 Corvettes because they're overpowered for the drag races. And yeah, that's kind of it. Nothing too special, as I said, but it's a fun little place to just do some racing against other people. Now, I did see a racetrack, which is something new to me. This game is getting very frequent updates at the moment, so there's a lot of changes happening very quickly. Okay, this is like a proper racetrack location and not just some sort of weird track. This is my first lap ever going around this racetrack, so this is fun, especially in an Aventador. The Aventador is very fun because it's got a lot of horsepower and it slides very easily, but it's also kind of easy to control once you're used to it. Now the track itself has a kind of weird layout. It seems like it's pretty short, just that it's very slow to drive on. Yeah, overall, I guess it's cool for doing some sort of track racing. I don't know, people find ways to have fun in games. I'm not sure how popular this racetrack is gonna be in its current form, but if you can start earning money through circuit racing, I think that's gonna make the racetrack much popular, because players just love racing for money, apparently. Now, this game also has an interior view. So, if you're just driving around and you press N, you will be in this little interior view. It's not really the best, but it's cool, like any interior view. You control your camera by just moving the mouse around. You can only move your head uh, left and right, not up and down. It's, it's not exactly great, but I guess it's still kind of cool. This game also has a few game passes, so if we open this shop, you will see that there's actually kind of a lot. So, some of them are kind of just basic stuff for any game, but then there's some kind of unique game passes like the Street Legend game pass, which gives you some cash, and the NAR34 Skyline, or the Track Pass, whatever you want to call it, with a 720S GT and a 488 GT. Kind of lame that there's cars locked behind game passes, but hey, this isn't the first game to do that. And it is what it is, I guess. 
So yeah, that is it for this video. Just a simple video showing you what this game has to offer. It's still a very early access, so you shouldn't have expected too much. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like, maybe even consider subscribing. And if you want to see more content on this game, let me know, because I'd gladly try finding some ways to have fun in this game with the boys. So yeah, that's it from me, and I will see you in the next video.